Can ConvertKit work as a CRM? If you're trying to choose between ConvertKit and ActiveCampaign, you might be wondering if you really need the full power of a CRM or if something like ConvertKit can work for you. Well, today we're gonna dive into just that. I'm Karanda Adair, Certified Automation Service Provider and CEO of Carvel Digital. And today I wanna help you if you're trying to decide if ConvertKit can work for you as a CRM or if you need something more powerful. Let's dig into it. First, let's get clear what we're talking about. What is a CRM? CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management, and it's just what it says. It allows you to store and track and organize data about your customers and your leads so that you can build relationships over time and you can put relevant offers in front of them. Aside from allowing you to store information about your contacts, a true CRM will allow you to do things like pipeline management, deal tracking, task management, integration with other tools such as form software or customer support desk, and reporting. ConvertKit was primarily primarily built for creators, people like podcasters, artists, musicians, authors, people who are selling digital products so that they can email their audience, build relationships with their audience, and sell their digital products. While you can use things like tagging to segment your subscribers in ConvertKit, it lacks the features of a true CRM. Let's compare some of the features between ConvertKit and ActiveCampaign to see the difference in implementation. So for tagging in ConvertKit, if you come in and you're looking at your subscribers, you can come down here and you can create a tag. So I'll create a test tag and save, but there's no dedicated page where you can manage your tags in bulk. Compare that to ActiveCampaign where we have a dedicated tagging page and you can add bulk tags, one per line. You can see how many contacts have a particular tag and you can see which automations a tag is attached to. If you're a ConvertKit user, do you have a separate CRM? Let me know in the comments. Now let's look at custom fields, which is another primary feature of a CRM. You can have custom fields in ConvertKit, but they're very basic. When you start your account, you have your email address and your first name, and that's it. So you have to strategize and create every custom field that you want. And there's actually no variety in terms of what kinds of fields you can have. It's basically just a single line text field, and that's it. If you come over to ActiveCampaign, and you look at their custom fields, you can see that right out of the box, they have a lot more custom fields pre-built for you. And then you can create all the custom fields that you want, and you can create them um, in different formats. So if you add a field here, let's have a test field, then you can actually create different field types. So you have text input, text area, the date, the date time, the drop down, lists, radio buttons, check boxes, hidden fields, and things like that. This brings us to another really important CRM feature, which is being able to move data back and forth between your CRM and other tools in your business tech stack. If you have a form, say like a jot form, a type form, an Airtable form, and you wanna collect information using those other tools and send it into your CRM, you can do that with ActiveCampaign, sometimes directly via direct integration or sometimes via something like Zapier. You're not able to actually import information into custom fields from a third-party tool in ConvertKit. One of our clients had built up a very large list in ConvertKit and really outgrew the platform. And what we were able to do is port her list over to ActiveCampaign. And in the process of doing that, we cleaned the list. So we actually reduced the list size, but increased the engagement. And then we allowed her through custom fields to start collecting better data on her clients, like who and how many webinars people had attended. And this allowed her to really smooth and finesse her webinar funnel so that now over the past nine months, she's been able to triple registrations for her webinar funnel. So it might be that you start with ConvertKit and you outgrow it and decide that you know what, I really do need a CRM. And if that's the case, then that's something we can help you with. And I'll put a link in the description on how you can work with us. The bottom line is if you really wanna use ConvertKit and you really need a CRM, you're going to have to use an outside CRM to get all the functionality that you want. And when I surveyed my audience and asked ConvertKit users what they're doing, almost all of them have a separate CRM. So if that's fine with you and you can use something like Pipedrive or some other CRM tool and you don't mind 
having to kind of tie those two tools together, then that could be a solution that would work for you. However, if you want an integrated all-in-one solution where you can have your email marketing, your email automation, and your CRM in one, then ActiveCampaign is a great choice. And if you're wondering what's the difference between all those things, I actually made a video about that right here and I'll put the link in the description. The bottom line is ConvertKit is great email marketing software. And if you're a creator who's in the audience that they're really building it for, it's probably gonna be a great solution for you. However, if you're a larger business and you really need a CRM with true CRM features and sales pipelines, then you're gonna need a different solution and you might wanna look at ActiveCampaign or HubSpot or another kind of all-in-one tool that can give you all the features that you need. If you found this video helpful, definitely give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you never miss a video. I'll see you next time.